Hello everyone, welcome back to 366 Days of Hope. My name is Pearl and I'm here to share our next object lesson, which is the last call. So this message is a little bit sobering, um, but I hope that it encourages you nonetheless. I was watching a reel and the question that was on that reel was, what was the last thing that you regret? And the person who posted said the last thing that they regretted was that they got a phone call from a friend who was inebriated asking and requesting for a ride. They had seen the phone call and they pushed them to basically voicemail because they didn't want to answer it at the moment. And the next thing they knew was they got a phone call from their, their friend's mom and said that the individual unfortunately passed away in a in a car accident um, because they decided to um, drive inebriated instead. And then it made me think about my, one of my other friends who is a firefighter and how he made the statement when I was visiting him and his wife, um, he said he takes everyone's phone calls. It doesn't matter who calls, what time they call, he takes it. And I was like, that's commitment because there are some people that are going to call you like at two o'clock in the morning. And I asked him, I said, well, why do you do that? And he said, some of my people struggle because of the job that they do and the things that they see. And I want to make sure they know that someone is there for them. And I just was like, man. And for him, it was because he had had a situation very much like that reel that I watched where someone had called him and they needed him. And unfortunately, that person ended up getting hurt because they didn't have somebody to, to, to talk to. And, and he felt like, you know what, I'm going to be there. So that way I will never end up being in that situation where I could have been the one to have helped them at their last call or be there for them when they really needed somebody. He could have then directed them to someone else if they needed to, if it, you know, whatever that type of phone call might have been. And it made me think of this principle. You know, time is a gift that you give to other people. And if you have time to give, then I say give it and if you don't have the equipment or the tools to be able to help someone, then then redirect them to someone who can. And we, because we have no idea what our influences can be. And that's why it's good to be interconnected in our community because then we can think, oh, you know what? I can't assist this person in this way, but hey, I know somebody who could. And then you could make that bridge um, for them and enable them to cross over that bridge to get the help that they need. And, and then I think of a spiritual application. The fact that we are so blessed that we have a lifeline to our creator. As a Christian, I think that's one of the best things that we have is that we can call on the Father anytime. We can call on Jesus Christ to help us through all circumstances. And even if it feels silent, he's there. And we just have to be patient and wait. And I know it's easier said than done. Trust me, I completely understand. But don't give up. He is going to open up doors in ways that we can never comprehend. And even though man can't always be there for us, and yes, they will fail us. But God will never fail because he keeps all of his promises. He cannot lie. And so that's my encouragement to you guys. And... I'm hoping that we could be in that service attitude, um, you know, to be there for as many people as we can um, and to remember that if we can't help them, prayer can. Prayer is powerful. I can't tell you how many times we prayed in dire circumstances and situations and God was able to do amazing things. So don't quit praying and keep fighting and sometimes the best way to fight is to be on our knees. And with that said, guys, may you live, thrive, and be healthy. Take care. Bye.